So you see, my friends, you know, you cannot study your way into heaven. You cannot uh, hear the wrong voices. See, there are many wrong voices. The majority, uh, uh, all the voices actually are wrong except one voice. You see, the only other voices you can listen to are the voices that have submitted to that one voice, which is the voice of the Spirit of God. You see, and 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 <clears throat> all those voices will tell you that you need to have a relationship with the Spirit of God, a real abiding relationship with the Spirit of God. You see, now how does this happen? This happens by you submitting yourself to Him. You see, by you learning to hear His voice, by you spending time with the Spirit of God. The only the way you learn to hear anything is by spending time with it. It's very simple. The way you know anything is by spending time with it. Living life, constantly going back to the Spirit of God on a daily basis, every, uh, on the moments of your life. You see, when you, something happens immediately, you go to Him. Before you do something, you commit it to Him. You see, this is the thing. And you learn to, 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 to attune yourself and make yourself obedient to the Spirit of God. You see, and uh, and that's that. That's the whole. Uh, that's the whole. That's the whole problem because that's the only voice you're supposed to hear. Now, the, now people make fun of all these other things. Oh, hearing voices. Oh, wow, he's a lunatic, my friend. If you're hearing all these other voices, you are really a lunatic. When you hear the voice of scientists and you hear the voice of politicians and you hear the voice of human beings and the hear other voices. Uh, from other realms that are that that have nothing to do with the spirit of God, then you are Looney Tunes. You see, so one man's uh, 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 Looney Tunes is another man's salvation. See, and they don't mix. So it's, if you if you if you if you call me a lunatic for listening to the spirit of God, so be it. That's fine. You see, I have no problem with that. But the truth is that really that it's 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 lunacy for you to listen to people that have been time and time again proven wrong. You see, the voice of the world, all oh, the voices, all oh, technology, this and that. How many times are you going to hear that? Oh, this failed, that failed. Oh, the problem is that you know you are so temporary. You see, <clears throat> the industrial era was touted as some of what the you know. Oh, wow, this is the way forward. It's progress. You see, now look, it's causing all the problems. The wars were fought after that. You see, <coughs> and uh, 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 because people want, and to, today again, now there's another struggle for resources. You see, to maintain a certain lifestyle that is, is it's not maintainable. You cannot have constant growth. You see, doesn't work like that. You have to allow something to rest. That's why people get destroyed. They're constantly trying to improve and improve and improve and they, and they, and they, and they self-destruct. You go faster and faster and faster and then, you, you know, you never learned how to be still. You see? So there's all this stuff swirling around in your mind, in your in your heart. And that's why you look for these, these, these people to be your salvation. You see, who's going to tell you that, hey, you know, May 21st, or whatever date that they set, or whatever things that they say, <coughs> you see. So many people I know, you know, have been uh, have been uh, doing their own will. I know certain certain preachers that you know they've been preaching about uh, a, a war with another country, and then they were part of the process to try and get that war to actually culminate, you see, and come to pass. Not just by the way they were speaking. But they, this, some of these people actually believe they're helping to fulfill the prophecies. You see, in the Bible. My friends, <laughs> they don't need you <coughs> to be fulfilled. They need God. You are carrying out, you are, you're becoming part of the prophecies on the wrong side. That's the problem, you see. You're becoming part of the prophecies on the, wrong, on the side that doesn't know God. That's the problem. See, by going around uh, 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 doing all these things and, and uh, uh, creating wars and breaking the commandments of Jesus Christ, you see. But you claim to be following Jesus, then you 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 start trying to become the decipher of the the Bible code, 
of the of the scriptures you see and you start well this means that and that means this and according to ancient this this means my friend and 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 now people buy your book and they buy this and and now they feel you know hey we're gonna follow this guy and how many people you're following so many people see it's okay for you to follow all these people see but then you call the one who's following the spirit of God which is the one whom you're supposed to be following you call that person crazy you see you call him uh, 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 you know all kinds of names oh you 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 claim he's being led by 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 false spirits you see but the thing is that you're being led by false spirits it's, it's the other way around you see now I'm not saying that to 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 uh, have I been led by those things before yes I have you see but I can tell you the truth and so you're not supposed to follow me I'm trying to follow another you see and that's the one whom you're supposed to be following so th th this is this is this is the thing you know all these people if you look at your life it is just another bunch of voices that have that have told you <coughs> that this is the way someone told me <coughs> someone tells me oh they don't believe in voices yet the voice of capitalism and the voice of democracy and the voice of all these things live in them all their theories that were for formulated by other vo other men who they don't know so they're being completely hypocritical you see you read a book then that thing influences you now there's a voice in your life <coughs> you just never thought about it you see you watch a movie now that becomes a voice in your life you watch it the documentary you watch this you watch it becomes a voice in your life you see you listen to so and so who is giving a speech it becomes a voice in your life you see you don't know where he got those thoughts though the only way you can know is when you're led by the spirit of god that's the thing my friends you see and that's why that everything you do you submit them to the spirit of god if you listen to somebody if you're in a class in university you submit all that knowledge to the wisdom or to the spirit of god which is the wisdom of god you see to Jesus Christ and then you begin to see you begin to make the, the, the difference and the Spirit of God many times has told me this is why this man said this this is why this was wrong this is why the, he, he ended up here or this is why they ended up there this is why they will end up here you see I read so and so's book I don't I don't I don't take that as oh I'm going to follow this man no I never I just not I submitted to the Spirit of God <coughs> And then you begin to see that oh these theories this this is wrong, you know somebody says oh will will to will to win. You know will to win will to win only works when you're willing to win for Jesus Christ, not anything else. That becomes an uh, 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 you see. And that's what people don't people are willing to win for football, for wars, for political ideologies. You see people are willing to win. Uh, 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 for everything else under the sun, and that's why there's there's uh, there are problems all around the world. You see, will to power, you see, and all these things. Where did they come from? Uh, people must have never heard of Nietzsche and and some of the people that influenced him. You go back in the history, you see, and you see what kind of people these were. I'm not saying that you know only God knows. But the thing is that these people, if you if you find out about them, or if you are, the most important way of finding out about them is to ask the spirit of God. You begin to realize, hey man, these people had problems. They had serious things. They were they were they were being. I mean, Carl Jung is a psychologist. See, but he was hearing voices. But yet everybody calls he's a legitimized uh, guy. You see. Isaac Newton. You go down the list. You find out about these people, man. And you find out, you know, Ptolemy, what influenced him. People don't want because they want to go, go to work. They want to distract themselves. They want to go to work and and enjoy the pleasures of what these systems are giving them. You see, and then they want to create uh, 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 differences. Uh, it's like well, there's one road going to hell, but there are many different ways to get there. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So all these that's where all those differences come all your theories the democracy socialism all the ism and schisms that are out there 
you see and and the problem is now the prognosticators they go there and then they put the the the, the, the christian prognosticate then they put uh, uh, they dress it up nicely with uh, uh, christian jargon you see taking the bible scriptures and these things and trying to interpret them using their own finite minds you see you cannot the most important thing is to know Jesus Christ he said it himself you see is to know Jesus Christ to know the father you see this is what it is very simple it just takes your time it's just that people are so wound up <clears throat> in the anarchy of the world that they the, the, which is called success you see it's called success it's called the way forward it's called progress it's given all kinds of names civilization sophistication the, the, the people mock today oh back in the days yet the problem is there's an even bigger beast than the medieval times living inside you you're just you what you've done is you're just appeasing it with all these comforts that is owned by somebody else who is also owned by something else you see and people don't want they don't want this and then th th this is the thing you see so all these prognosticators that are out there whether they are Christian or of the world it doesn't matter you're not supposed to be following them you submit everything to the Spirit of God <coughs> Many times in my life I have received visions. You see, people will say, "Well, how do we know? You know, you don't. We how do you discern that vision? It needs to be according to the word. Yes, it needs to be according to the word, but you don't know the word. You don't know the word because if you knew the word, all you have to do is ask Him. The word is not something alive to you. That's the problem. It's a it's a scripture given to someone else." The purpose of the scripture is to know the living word of God and receive from Him. Then you will know who are His and who are not. If you don't know Him, you know nothing. See, you may know all these prognosticators and their words that have at best temporary gain, but it's an eternal failure. It's a doomsday waiting to happen. And when it happens, you will be least prepared. You see, that's the problem. See, I've seen too many of them, from the big to the small, from the, <coughs> the, the, the less extreme to the more extreme. See, and they're all speaking from their own minds. And they're all speaking from something that is finite. <coughs> you see? So my friends, you know, some people are there, they have good intentions, you know, when they're reading from the scripture, but they don't know the spirit of God. So they lead people in the wrong place, you see, because they're leading people according to what they think, their own minds, you see, and not the, the spirit of God. See, many times what has happened is the spirit of God will give you a word or give you conf uh, um, a vision or a dream or something like this and then he'll give that to someone else maybe you don't even know this person sometime and you come across them and you realize you've been given the same thing or you know another brother or sister you receive a vision they also receive the same vision it's a confirmation <clears throat> because you know the living word of God you're in tune with him see you're part of the same vine see and that vine is all over the world the kingdom of God is all over the world you see so you begin to realize that hey the Spirit of God has taught this person the same thing he's taught that person the same thing he's opened the scripture the same way he's led them over here he's led them over there he's told them to to lose everything and follow he told me too you understand my friends that's how you know something and you have to know the voice of the Spirit of God you've got to spend time with him see all these other things will come to a very big zero so follow him 